Coach West bringing West bring to your offense? Well, I think if everybody offensively, you know, we haven't had a lot of consistency so far. I think Brandon's been the, the bright spot. I mean, he is, uh, and it's not surprising. You know, he practices really well. Uh, takes a lot of pride in what he does and how he does it. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a really good athlete, really good football player. But I think just his work ethic and maturity yeah, is probably, you know, it's important to anything else. You know, he's just, he's just somebody that understands you know, how you're supposed to work. And, and how, how important it is to practice well, and that carries over to the game. So I've been pleased with what he's done so far. You know, I, I expect him to have a bigger and bigger role every single week. And uh, like I said, I think he's been a really bright spot for an offense and, you know, has been struggling so far. Any update on Rex Robertson and C.J. Sanders? Yeah, uh, neither one of them practice today. You know, we'll see what they can do tomorrow. I would expect they both would practice tomorrow. Um, and then we'll just kind of try to get an idea where we're at after that. Is there anything you and your staff can do to try to help prepare these guys for the size of the stadium and the crowd and the atmosphere they're going to see Saturday? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, the funny thing about it is I don't know that you you can prepare for that. I don't really know that you have to as much as, you know, I mean, it's, it's football. You know what I mean? It's, it's uh, blocking and tackling and, and it's doing your job. And, you know, I think when you play in a loud atmosphere, you have to do a good job of over-communicating. I think that's the one thing that we have to, to make sure that we do a good job of. But, you know, it's hard to simulate that, and, and I think in a lot of ways um, it's not a big deal unless you make it a big deal, you know. And so I think our guys will communicate with each other. I think that, um, you know, and I think they'll, uh, you know, it's going to be, their success is going to be determined not by the crowd or Michigan's tradition or any of that, but their ability to, to win the one-on-one -on -one battles in front of them. And, and that's ultimately, you know, what's either going to, uh, make it successful or not. Does anything change from a coaching standpoint for you going into this game a little too? I mean, obviously, no, the way no, you no, no, no. We, we, I mean, we, you know, we lost to one of the top 15 teams in the country last week, and we're going to play a team that was one of the top 15 in the country this week. And so, I mean, it doesn't change anything. I mean, we knew they were good football teams, and they're on our schedule, and we're going to play them. Do you figure that there's a way that this tough schedule is going to somehow pay some dividends down the road. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think I think anytime you play good people, it pays off for you. I mean, I think, it, you know, it's like anything else. It's, it's uh, it can be painful at the time. You know, it's, you know, it's funny, but the funny thing about winning and losing, it always, you know, the, the, the other team always has an impact on that as well. You know, and so when you, um, when you have a tough schedule, I mean, tougher schedules are harder to win. It's harder to win in those situations, and it's easier to win if you don't have it. Tough schedule, and um, you know, but but our job is to not worry about the schedule, not worry about who we play, just improve and do what we do and, and get better. And so that's that's our focus. We don't we're not sitting around complaining about who we're going to play or feeling sorry for ourselves or any of that stuff. I mean, we see it as an opportunity to to go play football against a good football team and a team that's uh, you know has a great tradition, has has had a lot of success. And, uh, but but that's how we that's we don't see it any other way than that. Have you seen your guys amped up to go play Michigan at Michigan? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, our guys need to be amped up all the time. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I think that's, I think we learned that week one. I think we were uh, unamped, you know, and I think that's why we got our tail kicked. You've played a couple of pretty good quarterbacks the first two weeks in Mason Fine and then Robinson. How is Patterson different? What are the, in terms of the challenges he presents for your defense? Well, totally different, you know, scheme, obviously. You know, they're, they're uh, uh, really on both sides of the ball. You know, they're a downhill. Uh, scheme really defensively and they're a downhill scheme offensively and so it's different scheme you know uh, Patterson's like most first-year players I mean he's learning um, you know I think he made big improvement from week one to week two I would expect him to improve from week two to week three that's just what guys do when they're new in a system it takes a little bit of time for them to get the kinks worked out and, and uh, for him to perform I'm sure the way he wants to perform it's, it's like anything else I mean it doesn't happen overnight it's always a work in progress it's uh you know, it's a work in progress for the guys in the NFL that have been doing it for 15 years. And that's just what football is. It's, you know, you show up every day, you work hard, you hope you get better. And, you know, you're trying to always work on your timing and understanding of, of the, the offense and the defense you're going to play against. And, and so he's like everybody else. I mean, he's going to, the more snaps he plays, the better he's going to get. What can you all do to ensure it takes a little bit of better outing this week? Well, I mean, they're going to they're gonna make it hard on him. I mean, they're one of the top defenses in college football. And so, um, you know, when you play against one of the top defenses in college football, it's harder to, to score a lot of points and make a lot of yards. And that's just kind of the, the common sense 
approach to it. Um, but, you know, it doesn't change his job, which is to go execute what we do and how we do it. And, uh, you know, and I think that's what our, our issue hasn't been as much who we play, it's just been our, our ability not to, to, or our, we haven't executed the way we need to, in other words. And I think that's been, been our, our, uh, our issue so far, I guess, this season has been that. It's, you know, your opponent always has something to do with it, but you always have something to do with it as well. Rotating uh, guys in and out of the defensive line, what have you found the results there? Well, it's kept us fresh. I mean, it's kept us fresh. It's kept us healthy. We haven't got a lot of guys banged up, and I think that's that's good. I mean, our defense played a, a lot of snaps in week one and and probably more than we want to in week two. And, and so, you know, when you have a lot of bodies to rotate through, it keeps keeps everybody healthy, keeps the number of snaps down, keeps the guys playing fresher. And I think that's, uh, you know, part of the reason why you know, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel, I think, defensively is, and I think we're starting to improve is because, you know, when guys get in the game, and, you know, they can play hard for 25, 30 plays. And, and so we've had some guys that could go in in those situations and really get after it, really play it with a high motor uh, because they've had, a, you know, had less snaps to, to, to play. In. And so, you know, that's the goal moving forward is to, to continue to play a lot of guys. Uh, like I said, I think it's going to help us stay healthy. I think it's going to help us stay fresh. And, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of guys that deserve to play. How would you assess your defense right now? Yeah, I, mean, I think we've played pretty well at times. You know what I mean? I really do. I think that, that, you know, we put them in some bad situations. You know, I think if you look at, if you look at the, the you know, we gave up 42 points Saturday, seven on a punt return, uh, seven on a fumble return for a touchdown, and then gave them the ball inside the 15 another time. So, you know, when you look at that against a pretty good offensive football team at UCU, you start to say, well, you know what? We're making some progress. We gave up a couple of too many big plays. I mean, I think that's what hurt us on Saturday. But you know, I thought we stopped the run uh, fairly well uh, against again a team that's going to work really hard to run the ball. Um, and we're going to have to do the same thing on Saturday. I mean, Michigan's going to come out and you know try to try to ram it down on the throat, I'm sure. And so we've got to do a good job of of holding up and, and stopping the run.